are excavating today underneath Heapstone 2. This is to reveal the wall on the end of the fan drift so it can be filled with foam concrete. There we are, quite a deep excavation now, probably 8 metres that. Slowly revealing the wall at the end of the fan drift. Well the hole's a lot bigger than we expected, they've gone down about 8 metres now, massive pile of soil there. Pity about the damage to the lawn. Hopefully that'll all be reinstated in time for our festivals in the summer. They're just battering the sides of the holes now, as you can see, to stop that uh, caving in when they start work eventually down there. So it was finally excavated right down to 8 metres and then backfilled to about 6 now. As you can see that is the, uh, the opening. This was the exhaust hole for the fan drift. And as we swing around now we'll see a hole in the concrete wall. Uh, which is big enough to get the pipe through to pump concrete in and as you can see an absolutely massive void in there goes right down and right the way up and right back to the actual shaft you see that grill in the middle there an awful lot of concrete required to fill that right up to the ceiling and you can see these big steels on the entrance as well hectic here this morning finally 20 years after the colliery closed in 2003 we are now filling the void underneath Heapstead 2 with foam concrete and this is one of about 200 lorries that will be arriving with 8 cubic metres in it's going to be pumped into that hopper there and then the pipe goes right down into the fan drift another one out another two ready to come in very busy pumping away today